Okay guys, welcome to another video. Once again, we are back at Hotomoto. We're gonna try something new that just came out. I think last time I came here, I got some positive feedback. You guys were interested to see an alternate fast food place, uh, Japanese fast food, AKA a bento place. Um, and they have just released a brand new campaign where they feature Angus beef. Black, black Angus beef, they're calling it. So I picked up one of their black black Angus beef boxes here. And uh, was that dripping? <laughs> Hopefully that was just condensation. Um, and we're gonna give that a shot. It looks amazing. They had two variations and I asked the lady which, which one she recommended. And she told me to grab this here and it came with a special sauce. It is a mushroom and well garlic a garlic garlic mushroom sauce and well actually let me bring you in and show you a little bit closer what's going on here it looks amazing i guess it's in sort of the same vein as a, a gyudon this is what we got going on in here it's basically just a bunch of rice with some short rib there's actually a few mushrooms on top there and it came with a side of, oh, sweet potato, looks like eggplant maybe, and then some grated daikon. So yeah, does that look good or what? I guess I should throw this sauce on here and try, try not to make too much of a mess. It came to 780 yen. I think a little more expensive than the previous visit here, but it is short rib, which is very, very popular here in Japan. So I'm gonna just add this sauce. <laughs> I really do not want this to spill. It's actually a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be. Wow. So yeah, that looks really good. They gave a pretty decent helping of, of sauce there too. Yeah, <laughs> it smells like daikon right here. Yep, garlic, it's like a garlic sauce. I'm sure it's a familiar flavor that I've had before, but sounds really really good so yeah i'm glad she recommended this but after i ordered it i noticed the other one kind of had like a sweet sweet and spicy sauce so that does sound also really good and i wouldn't mind giving that a try but you can see there are several pieces of meat here lots of ample ample quantity of meat underneath there's just rice and then uh sweet potato in that so it's it's kind of basic but like I said it's like a gyudon right so uh, so we just give it a shot here we go itadakimasu let me know if you are a fan of gyudon or short rib my mouth is watering here we go <laughs> mm. I didn't even notice <laughs> I just cracked them open and started using them. <laughs> wow. You could tell I was dying. I was dying to jump, <laughs> to jump right in. Mm. Okay, that was better. <laughs> Some of the meat's a little fatty. The uh, garlic flavor is not overpowering at all. It really, it's like a subtle um, balanced kind of flavor really getting the taste of the meat coming through let's see what this uh, okay this is sweet potato here so in Japan sweet potato is definitely a popular item this time of year okay not super sweet but you know it's that time of year to eat sweet potato, so that's what we do. We also have some uh, eggplant here. That's okay too. It's not a super balanced meal. Like we don't really have greens or all that stuff. It's just <laughs> it's just what it is. It's meat basically. Hmm. That was good. Some daikon. I guess we can add that. Add that to our meat. Hmm. Okay, that tastes really good. So, you know, Japanese people love rice. For me, I kind of feel that the ratio is a little bit off here. 
there's almost too much rice to meat ratio. You're still getting a, a nice quantity of meat, but I would have cut back a bit on the rice, maybe thrown in, you know, anything, some other kind of veggies, little potato salad or something. I don't know. I just don't need this much rice in my life. I don't know how you could ever get tired of Yoshinoya or Sukiya, but if you are, you want to try something a little different, yet something the same, check out Hotomoto's Black Angus bowl. It's not really a bowl, is it? Plate? <laughs> so let me know if you're a fan of short rib. Let me know if you're in Japan or you live somewhere where there's Hotomoto. I'm not sure if it exists outside of Japan or not. And uh, if you've tried their Black Angus dish, what you think of it. Again, I'm <laughs> I got a lot of rice to go through here. That's going to be it for this uh, video. Yeah, still working on the rice here. I just want to say thanks a lot for joining me. If you're new here, please subscribe. Don't forget to thumb up this video and ring that dinner bell. And we'll see you guys in the next one.